The Lord be with you. Good morning and welcome on this Easter Sunday. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Well, I don't need to tell you what happens today. You may have noticed that I'm in a different place from usual. I'm actually in the Lady Chapel at St John's rather than the Memorial Chapel. It feels right for today because, of course, it was the women that came and found the empty tomb. Our reading is from the Gospel according to St John. Beginning to read at chapter 20, verse 1. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but in a separate place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me. I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, here we are at the empty tomb. Mary comes and finds it empty. She goes and tells the disciples who come and have a look and go away again. But she is still there looking for her Lord and she sees him. And at first she doesn't recognise him. I've always been a bit puzzled by that, but I guess if she was in the tomb and she turned around, maybe he was silhouetted in the door. But as soon as he says her name, she realises who he is. 
and the feeling must have been incredible. I always feel joyful on Easter morning because it is the most joyful of feasts, but it can be nothing compared with what Mary Magdalene must be feeling. She has seen her Lord tortured to death, ignominiously and terribly, and she has come to do the last thing for him that she could. And even that seems to be taken away from her. And then suddenly it's all overturned. And that is the simple message of today. It is all overturned. All that death, all that pain, all that destruction, all that bullying, the torture, the betrayals, the running away, the denials, it is all overturned. Because those things belong to death. And death did not win. Jesus is risen. He is back. He has come through death, through that yesterday, the day we call Holy Saturday, the day we say in the Apostles' Creed, he descended into hell. You can see a lovely icon of Jesus harrowing hell, rescuing the souls that are left in hell. And he has come back to show us that death is not the end, that violence and destruction do not win because they are of death and death is not the end. In the end, what wins is love. The love that God has for us, the love that overcomes death, the love that overcomes all that is so wrong in this world. And so let us today follow that way of love. Jesus also shows us that it isn't easy. He had to go through some awful things. So when we are suffering, when we are having a hard time and Many of us are and many of us have been. We know that that's not the end game, that that's not the end, that we will come through it and that all wrongs will be put right. And in the end, we will be like Mary, reunited with our Lord. And in that most glorious time, O oh Lord, we pray that you will keep us faithful to the teaching of your apostles, led by Mary, apostle to the apostles. And Lord, that we too will come to that great day when we will all be reconciled in you. Let us be joyful this Easter day. Amen. And I have referred to suffering. In this world, as Jesus showed us, there is suffering. He also showed us that it's not a mark of God's disapproval. That actually, in this world, all things are not right. But that God can make all the difference. And so we pray today, especially for those whom we know who are suffering at this time. By name, O oh Lord, we pray for Anne Armstrong, Mary Tragheim, Jane and Laura Peachy, Sandra and the Marshall family, Laura and little Henry awaiting his operation, and all the Conway family, Jean Winch, Gillian Watkins, Caroline and all the Jordan family, Marion Dennis, Ross and Billy and the Francis family, Catherine and all the Allen family, Ken Peterson, Cynthia Davis, Anne Dempsey, Rita Benwell, Mandy Nash, Logis Rajaratnam, James Brokenshire, Martin Whittakind, Diana Richards, Pam Payton, Shirley Haynes, Mick Sanders, and Sadie Williams. And in a moment of quiet, any who we 
choose to offer to God now. Lord, we also remember before you the recently departed. Pam Thompson, Sheila Starling, Carol Pritchard and Samuel Mwangi. And we pray for all those who mourn them. And as we keep the anniversary of Michael Slaughter, Lord, we know that all these people are safe with you. We pray for comfort, strength and peace for all who loved and missed them this day. And Lord, we finish our prayers today by praying as your son Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And on this Easter Sunday, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and all whom you love, living and departed, now and forevermore.